Actually, yeah. Actually, um, I work for an engineering company. Um, we work for a SIF just um, for the love of hate or whatever you want. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I'm the representative of ASIF in Andalusia. ASIF is the Spanish um, Photovoltaic Industry Association, where it gathers almost 500 um, uh, companies, and we've been working for the PV uh, since um, 10 years or so. So um, now we're trying to deal with this ministry. And uh, well, uh, actually, um, thanks a lot, everyone, for uh, mainly Jorge for the invitation to be here. Um, I'm glad to, partici to participate in a European project uh, and to give our approach. Uh, I think the Spanish uh, situation of the PV market is very interesting because we have, a, we have a story that may help all Europe in terms of not to repeat it and maybe in terms of to look forward for a solution that makes PV to compete in the, in the real electricity market. I think for Spain, and um, more than a presentation, what I want to give you is some ideas to create some kind of a debate or whatever, because um, I think the Spanish situation is, uh, is in terms of PV, is, is a success situation where the success can kill us. And uh, we are living a very um, stress um, market situation. Um, I agree with Joaquin, it's amazing how, uh, um, renewables and PV have helped to create jobs and to create um, technology and uh, local technology. And in terms of the Valencia, uh, I just give me um, congratulations because Valencia one of the, is one of the regions where they have uh, bet more for um, integrated PV and they have made a lot of rooftop even before the legislation changed. And that's a very good, uh, interesting approach with the Institute of Technology, we have to work together in order to demonstrate that PV is no longer a prototype. It's something that can help to uh, um, integrate into the mix, into, into the energetic mix or the electricity mix and, and so on. And that's our main problem right now, is that we are producing the 3% of the electricity in Spain and we want to produce more, but then they come the people from the gas and they say, hey, <laughs> stop a little bit. And then they come the people from wind and say, hey, stop a little bit because I want to earn my own money. So as we say in Spain, we been playing in the second or third division two years ago, and now we're playing in the first division. Now we're playing against Iberdrola, Endesa, Gas Natural, the big electricity, electricity agent. So. Uh, it's a very difficult situation, however. Um, well, please, I just want to make this a little bit more participating, so uh, stop me, and uh, I will be glad to, um, not to be the protagonism, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I will be glad to, uh, to make this a discussion. Um, as I told you, as if uh, we've been fighting for PV since uh, more than 10 years. It started as a small company, um, a small association uh, gathered mainly by manufacturers. Aterza was one of the, of the um, first um, partners. Then BP Solar and Isopoton, uh, they, uh, many years ago, they, s they found out that they needed an association to fight together and to put the, the, their ideas uh, up to the national level, the ministry, and so on. Now we are almost 500 um, associates, and uh, that give us a strong, F, I mean, a strong uh, support in order to defend uh, PV into the um, into the government. And um, something important is that we are, even if we are located at the national level, we also work at regional levels in order to find the barriers to uh, fight with the administrative problems and uh, to look for solutions uh, and to make PV more uh, um, penetrating to the market. So, um, I just wanted to start with an Goyer experience because this is a reality, a reality in, that I think, as um, Gonzalo explained, we have to, um, to take out the, back the best practice we've done. Um, and at Nalcoria is working. I mean, it's four, uh, 14 megawatt peak, different technologies. 
a very degraded area and a project, a very single project that have pushed up into a manufacturer and industrial project for the uh, uh, people that work in the mining to find another solution. So uh, next to this project is another industrial project for manufacturers. Now they're working companies like SHOT uh, for the, um, making the, the, the tubes for solar thermals. Uh, they're, they used to be Gamesa, but <laughs> Gamesa just ran out of solar. Um, but there are many companies that, run, that um, are giving some jobs there for uh, looking uh, a perspective for the people in that area. And, and I explained to you, uh, Gamesa, um, Adnal Koyar, um, they have different technologies. Here at the bottom, we saw 2x tracker because it was in the, in the um, perimeter where you could put some foundation. There is also an, another tracker in the in the um, in the balls. How do you say it? the pond? Uh, say the pond. And um, so for me, it's a very interesting project since we can compare different technologies and we can see which of them is uh, is the best in terms of economics and so on. This was the picture that uh, um, Gonzalo showed us, but um, maybe uh, 10, years, uh, 10 years after the disaster. This is the town of Analcoya, and all that area is the, um, what they call the PAMA, the Polígono de Actuaciones Medioambientales. <laughs> well, you guess, okay? Um, I put some sentences, but I think Joaquin explained it very well. So. Um, the, the problem there the, it was that in the, in the, in the pond, you, could not, uh, you couldn't do foundation, so you, we had to build all the PV panels above the, the land. That is something very important from PV, is that landscape, landfills, um, uh, degraded areas are no uh, in the places where you may have a very nice resource in terms of energy. I mean, if you want to put... Um, um, uh, hydraulic or wind or whatever, you need the resource. The, the funniest thing is that the sun somehow uh, covers all the land, so it's always, it always exists, uh, that, that, that resource. Um, different technologies to access trackers. That is, uh, for us, it's funny because the Spanish market helped a lot to develop different, uh, I mean, since, uh, since uh, at the early 2005, there were no trackers in the market, more or less. There were some German trackers and so on, but the German market didn't uh, need trackers. Uh, since the Spanish market started to grow up, trackers technology started to, to, to de develop. And actually, it's very sad that right now we have developed many interesting trackers, and uh, I hope Italy catch up and <laughs> helps this um, uh, equipment to develop it themselves. And as I told you, there are many manufacturers there to help to build jobs. We have to put together um, um, renewable energies, PV solar energies, together with jobs, create, at least in Spain, where deployment is one of the main problems we have. The situation today is that, as I told you, um, this is, the, in June, the number of installations in Spain were up to 52,000 installations of different sizes, okay? There are in Spain 3,800 uh, megawatt peak, a uh, megawatt nominal power installed already. So we are part, as I told you, of the mix. We are producing in Spain in different regions. This is the power installed and um, in, uh, in, in megawatt. And this is the energy we build, we contribute to produce in gigawatt hour. 